All right, so let's go ahead and elaborate on line eight. Your hand will find all your enemies. Your right hand will find those who hate you. Now notice that, remember, and we've been reading this Psalms, how God holds us with his right hand. He leads us with, with his right hand. And now his right hand is going to find those who hate him. Yes, people hate God. People hate Jesus. People hate Christians. They think that Christians and Jesus are just fairy tales. They're believing in nothing. They're believing in non-existence things. But let them keep hating. Because what it says right here, your hand will find all your enemies. Your right hand will find those who hate you. You should make them as a fiery oven in the time of your anger. <laughs> and then it's going to be a bigger oven if they don't repent and turn to Jesus in hell. That's a huge oven right there. Then it says the Lord should swallow them up in his wrath. That means he's going to consume them. Just like, remember how he had done um, Sodom and Gomorrah. With, you know, he rained down what fire and brimstone, brimstone and he consumed and destroyed those cities. So, you know, a lot of people thinking they're getting away with things. They're doing things to people and stuff like that. They're getting away. You're not getting away. God is giving you a chance to change. And if you're not going to change, you're going to be consumed. So the Lord should swallow them up in his wrath. And the fire should devour them. 10. Their offspring you shall destroy from the earth. And their descendants from among the sons of men. So God can destroy the offspring and the descendants or the seed from the earth. 11. For they intended evil against you. Tell me they, they intended evil against God. How are you going to? Who in the world is crazy enough to try to do evil against God? And they devise a plot which they are not able to perform. And they do devise things like they're trying to get God back or whatever. Let's look at uh, Psalm 2, 1 through 4. That says, and we talked about this uh, when we, when we um, studied Psalm 2. It's, it's uh, line 1. And remember, I'm, this is New King James Version. New King James Version. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. All right, so it's like God can laugh. Like it's... <laughs> You're trying to fight with God. You're trying to plot evil against God. And God's like, you can't touch me. I'm God. Come on. Like, duh. Really? <laughs> so, look at 12. Then it says, so he says, uh, David says, Therefore, you will make them turn their back. You will make ready your arrows on your string toward their faces. And so, God could take that bow and arrow, line it up, pshew, right in your face, to the enemy. So and if you're not an enemy of God and you're not trying to hate God, you're not trying to devise a plot against God, this is not for you. Okay? So don't be, don't be worried. Okay, so let's go to our last stanza, line 13. Be exalted, O Lord. In your own strength, we will sing and praise your power. And we can sing and praise the power of God. Because we know that he's stronger than any foe. F-O-E. He's stronger than any enemy. He's stronger than any wicked person. And we will overcome in his strength. And so we trust in his strength. Because we already know his strength is not going to fail us all right so we can be exalted we i mean we can exalt the lord 
and um, because we're relying on his strength. And because we're relying on his strength, that's going to give us joy. And that joy of the Lord is our strength. Okie okay, dokie. Okay, okay. And we can sing and praise his power. So that's Psalm 21. And keep the faith. Keep the focus. I love you. And God bless you.